Welcome to Inspire Radio. It's 9.34 on the 3rd of September. Uh, my name's Tris, and I'm talking to Rhiannon here from At Work Australia. Rhiannon, welcome here. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, tell me, um, first of all, what do At Work Australia do? So, At Work Australia is a national employment service, and we provide support with anyone living with disability, injury, health conditions, if they're disadvantaged, to try and find them good work. Um, and we're re- we work a lot with uh, youth as well. Um, we have a very holistic and practical and friendly approach, and all our services are free. Uh, and uh, we support clients in all parts of their life and their career planning. <coughs> so, for instance, we help with training, we help with um, connecting them to support services, even driver's licence, certi- cert- uh, certifications, mental health, anything that they need. Um, and we have many years' experience to do that. You've been around for a while and you've got sites all over Perth, haven't you? We do. We've got, we've, we work in both um, our Job Active and our Disability Employment Services and they cover all over um, the metro area and our disability go rural as well and then we're across Australia with our disability support too. Awesome. And I think the, the really awesome thing about what you guys do is that it's not just about finding people work, it's also helping the employers. Yes. So like financially, if you need to take someone on but you can't afford it, there are incentives there, right? Yeah, so the government offers wage subsidies and things and, and then we also support for up to six months following somebody starting work. Um, so there's that ongoing support and mentoring. If there's anything that comes up, any um, assistance that people need, we're still there holding that hand and, and giving them that support where they need it. How um, have you guys gone through the COVID? So obviously they took off mutual obligation um, in 2020. Um, And then they brought it back and there's a lot of um, confusion amongst job seekers because in that mutual obligation, that period where they didn't have to do anything, um, they got like $1,000 a fortnight um, compared to 500 and then they didn't have to do anything for it. There was no looking for work or attending appointments. Um, And then all of a sudden they get reduced amount and compulsory mutual obligation again. So have you guys noticed any kind of increase in mental health issues as a result of that? Uh, yeah, but w- and we've been able to work with um, not only our own in- internal psychologists that we have, but also other support services, and we refer to those services where we need to, um, to support people, um, and that's our main focus, is, is if there has been um, any issues that have come up because of that, or, or just in general, um, that we want to support people as much as we can. Yeah, and we were talking just before then about the the COVID and how um, disengaged everyone was, um, especially at that beginning. I had a, a meeting uh, with a suicide prevention team and the first meeting after the COVID lockdown started and no one had a clue what they were doing. Everyone was kind of, oh my God, that took us by surprise, you know, and, and people who were looking after mental well-being weren't allowed to do face-to-face appointments and it was all phone and stuff. So it, everything was really just chaos. Yeah, it was. And even for us, we we suddenly, uh, everyone was working from home and including our psychologists. So there was a lot of phone appointments. Um, We had to change the way we do our business as well. Mm. Um, And from that has come some great innovation and great new programs that we've had too. So tell us about one of the programs that came out of that COVID, one of the things that you guys are are focusing on at the moment. Yeah, so we then came up with a concept called our hubs um, and it was to sort of engage Um, everybody following COVID to get back into the office to start interacting again and also we found that employers and service providers had come up with some amazing new programs because of COVID um, and they wanted to try and get those out there so we came up with this concept of a hub uh, and we started them with youth hubs and they are all about um, bringing together various support services, employers, training organisations into the one space, inviting our clients along as well and the focus is on really helping people and action on the day so um, whether that's uh, enrolling in a training course, whether that is um, chatting to an employer and and having like a mini interview and then um, potentially potentially uh, sorting out or, or scheduling in an interview or work trial as a result of that or whether it's engaging with the support services and they may be booking you into the diary, um, putting you into the programs and doing whatever they can. It's not 
here's a flyer, give us a call. Mm. Um, and I, I, I know for myself, if I ever get a brochure, I have really great intentions to follow up, but life gets in the way and I don't. Yeah. Um, so our focus is on trying to get those actions on the day and everyone there is there to support uh, our clients coming through. Um, and the main focus is that somebody, when they're leaving the office, um, they have moved forward in their journey as a result of coming to the hub than when they first c- attended. Cool. So what kind of... Um results have you got from the hubs that you've done previously? So we're, we're seeing that a lot of people uh, are moving forward in that journey um, and we're not just talking about people getting into employment, we're, we're really focused on people progressing through any um, I guess disadvantages that they have. So as I say, whether that's engaging in mental health services to start um, helping them or other health services, uh, whether it's even speaking to, we have the Department of Transport often there and sometimes it's them getting their licence on the day or uh, sorting out fines or um, enrolling in a training course or getting some tickets and and like a white card that's going to help them get employment. We are seeing these results coming through um, and and we're then seeing eventually people going and getting work as well from it which is, I guess is our ultimate goal that's, for people. that's the key thing um, so you've got an event coming up next week um, on Monday yes. um, so do you want to tell us a bit about that yeah so at work in conjunction with the city of Mandra and the Jobs and Skills Centre um, are holding so we've decided to open it up to the community and we're holding uh, the Mandra Community Youth Hub it is on Monday the 6th of September at the Bill Dower Youth Centre on Dower Street in Mantra. Uh, it's from 11 till 4.30 um, and it is for anyone 25 years or under. However, if you've got friends, family that are in that age group, we want to see you down there. There is so many different services and companies coming along. There are jobs, there are uh, trier trades even. So we've got bricklaying, we've got painting where you can try those trades. So you can actually try it there? You can try it there in the car park. We've got free lunch, if that helps bring you (laughs) down as well. Sausage sizzle, right? Yeah, it is a sausage sizzle, thanks to the City of Mandurah Youth team. Um, So there's lots of things. And as I said, our focus is on practical assistance on the day. So if whether, even if you're not necessarily looking for work, we've got legal services, we've got accommodation services, we've got health and mental health, um, disability assistance, um, we've got all sorts of different things. So no matter what's going on, there will be something there for you and everyone's there really ready to support you and help you out. That's awesome. And it sounds like there's going to be lots of uh, um, outcomes from that. We hope so, yeah. We really, really hope so. Um, and that's, I guess, the, the goal for it. Um, because even if we've, we've even got resume services, so even if you need help with a resume, we've got staff there ready to help you create a resume. If you've got one, Jobs and Skills are going to be doing resume health checks. Uh, we've got staff there to support you. So if you walk in and you don't know what to do or feel a bit overwhelmed, come and try and find one of the staff and they'll help you get through the event or walk around. Uh, We've also got some great workshops going um, that are happening through the event too, um, including what kind of career path um, you want to take, interview tips and skills, resume skills in particular for those school leavers when you don't have a lot of experience and and you don't know how to write your resume. Um, So there's lots going on through the event. That's really fantastic. I wish that we could be there. Um, but yeah, we're definitely keen to go into the next one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we'd love so to what see you. organisations have you got coming? So, for instance, we have, look, there's, there's over 30 coming along. As I say, there's some various employers coming along and recruitment agencies. So there is lots of jobs and, and different opportunities on offer. We have various training organisations with a whole wide range of uh, qualifications that you can get. Um, and a lot of those are free or very low cost mm. as well. Um, and then a whole range of support services. And we do have, I'll be, do a big shout out, 
Department of Transport are coming along. So if you have any things with your licences or regos, whether it be a question or you want to skip the big long queues that are often at those centres yeah. um, and come down, they can take payments. If you're applying for your L plates, you can come along, apply, do the assessment. They'll assess it. They'll take your photo. It's all done on the day. Uh, we have Services Australia coming too. So again, if you want to skip the queue of having to go <laughs> into an office and ask those questions, um, they'll be there supporting and assisting as well. Uh, we have um, the Peel Community Legal Services will be there. So again, if you sort of want to have a chat to them, uh, we have so many different places coming along. That's really cool. And you've got employers as well, like you said, with... Um job agencies and stuff so yeah, there's we've people got can go in unemployed and come out employed absolutely so there's opportunities for apprenticeships we've got um, there's some FIFO there's some local jobs going and uh, we've got Maccas coming down too so they've got jobs um, there is a whole gamut of things we've got a jobs board that'll be at the front too so there's some there'll be some jobs on there including some employers that maybe can't come along yeah. um, and ways for you to apply for those jobs and then if you come along and we help you do your resume we, we give you some interview tips and skills um, hopefully you can walk away with a job if that's what you're coming along for that's awesome and I think having a jobs board is a, is a huge thing I remember when um, when I worked at work years ago and we did a, an expo in Rockingham that was a massive uh, jobs expo and they had a jobs board there and it was it was the center like everyone was just looking around to see what jobs were available yeah. it's, it's so much easier because you can see a physical job there Exactly, and so th and as I say, there's th a lot of recruitment companies that are coming along, and they have got a lot of jobs. Mm. And even if you're not got a lot of experience, or if it's your first job, there are opportunities there. Um, and the the great thing about the hubs is that. Um, even if you're talking to an employer and, for instance, they say, oh, do you have a white card? And you go, oh, no, I don't. Then there's somewhere that you can go, that you can go and do that white card. In fact, the city of Mandra are sponsoring things like white cards, some barista training, a bit of CPR, and that's all for free for you guys as well. <laughs> so um, you may not completely... Uh, finish it on the day but you'll be able to be set up be started with it and and know that you can kind of do a lot of those things from home or go back to the youth center later on awesome um if a company or an or an organization wants to be part of this is it too late or can they still join no i'm still finalizing all of those plans <laughs> so if someone um who's, is listening to this and they want to be a part of it we would absolutely love you to come along um you can contact at work um, and they'll put you in touch with myself and and we will 100 percent fit you in on the day if awesome. you can come along on the day but Please don't. We'd <laughs> much prefer to have a bit of a heads up yeah. that you're coming along. Would be handy. Yeah, but um, we would love as much as we can um, to support people. These have been highly successful in our offices. So we're really excited to be able to open this up to everybody. Um, and it's not just when, when we say it's a mantra event. Can I just emphasise that if you're listening to this and you're not quite in mantra, whether you're in a surrounding suburb or even out and you want to come along to Mandra on Monday, please come along. Um, we have um, employers, we have services from all over Perth um, and a lot of those services will still be able to assist you. If people want to go through as well to the At Work Facebook page, um, the event's on there or you can search up Mandra Community Youth Hub and the event's on there. We've got a whole list of um, some of the companies coming along and some of what they do, so that will kind of give you some ideas as to who's coming along too. Awesome. And is there a phone number for them to contact if they do want to get involved? Uh, I'll just put you on the spot. Yeah, that's put me <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> that's fine. If you give it to me afterwards and we can post it up with this yes. uh, later on today. So, Perfect, yeah. yeah. So just give the phone number a ring um, and, um, you know, uh, inquire and you can be involved still. Yes. Yes, awesome. absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Is there anything you wanted to add to that at all? I don't think so. Um, I think that, as I say, free lunch, guys, if nothing else, free lunch, some freebies, and anyone who comes down, any of the attendees who come down have also got a chance to win a $200 voucher for the Mandra Forum too. So lots of win -win. incentives to come down, um, and we would love to see you, even just to pop in and, and just check it out, even if it's for a friend or a family member as well. Yeah.
Cool. Thanks for coming in, Rhiannon, um, coming. from At Work Australia. And we want to hear, maybe if you can come back um, another time and tell us the results of uh, what happened on Monday. We'd love to. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Okay. We're just going to go to a song now.